Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I haven't done a video in a while because I've been busy doing embroideries. So I thought, why not show y'all one? Um, I know I posted a short three minute video of me going like super quick, but this takes me about, well, cause it's the pug and it's colored all the way in. It'll take me about two hours max if I, you know, stay with it and don't take breaks. Um, so yeah, this one isn't a mask like the other one. This one is just gonna be the hoop by itself as a decorative piece. And I have my black for the outline, I have the dark brown for some of the features of the pug, and then the light brown for the rest. I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and yeah, I guess um, I'll show y'all in a regular video how I do it, and then I'll go ahead and put it in the, the time lapse. Okay, so black is first. That's what I'm missing, I'm missing my scissors. Give me a second. Okie dokie. So we just stretch this out about an arm's length. I know you can't see my full arm, but okay, like right there is good. Go ahead and cut it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and divide it because there are six individual strings. You only need about three, so that way it's an even split all the way down to the middle, making sure it doesn't get tangled. Okay, we can put our excess over there. And then go ahead and tie this one off is what I do. Then I want to put this through the needle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And put it through there. Okay. And now let's get started. So basically start wherever you want. Um, honestly, I usually look at the picture on my phone. Because some of these are brown and some of these are black. But I think I know more or less. So right now I'll go ahead and start with the ear. Okay. And you just work your way all around. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera. But yeah, I'm really excited that a lot of people actually want this. Um, each one is hand embroidered by me, obviously, as you can see. But, oh look, I accidentally pulled that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then we pull it right there. There we go. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, they're all hand embroidered, as you're seeing right now. And so everyone is a little bit different. I mean, I'm human, I make mistakes, but they all come out cute. Oops, not right there. Nope, right about there. And yeah. So you just want to do that back and forth, all the way around your outline. And this will take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the time lapse. And I'll see you guys when it's either done or almost done. Whichever I feel like. <laughs> okay, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so what I was working on was the outline for the hoop only, that which is why it's a square. <clears throat> well, the customer got back to me right now, and um, she wants to change the order instead of just the hoop. She just wants a face mask. So I went ahead and brought one of the cutouts of the face mask layouts out, and I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I'm probably still going to make this later on for my wall, or maybe I'll try to sell it. But as as of right now, this is just extra so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process of outlining what I need onto my fabric and let's get started so I have obviously my um my three different colored threads and then I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these I only need one of these because I'm not doing it through both because a face mask obviously goes like that so, I'm going to go ahead and see which side should I take. I'm 
gonna go ahead and do this. Let me put this needle away before I um, lose it. Okay, so I have this loosened. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right there. Put this over here. Try to make sure you have enough excess on either side of the circle. Then I'm gonna go ahead and lay this. Let's see, about right there. Now, I know it's not necessary to have this pointing up, but honestly it helps me when I'm tracing to know, you know, which way is like perfectly straight up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start tightening it. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze it so I can make sure it's nice and tight. And we have our hoop with our face mask. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this under. I don't know if y'all could see it, the little pug face, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the flashlight on. Normally I do use my phone, but you're on it, so I'm going to go ahead and use my iPod. Oops. And just make sure it's somewhat straight. Okay, we'll go ahead and put it like this. Spots. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start tracing. Shoot. Honestly, the camera on my, I mean, the thing on my phone is better, <clears throat> but I don't want you to miss this, so let me see what I can do. I'm going to go ahead and use my lamp, because why not? I'm going to get my phone, I mean, my pin, my phone. I can go ahead and lay this down. And I have it like that. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I'm guys up here. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a little close. Okay, looks like I have everything. Just don't want to miss anything. Just double checking. Yep, everything looks good. Okay, so now I have to put this back up.
Okay, so I'm done embroidering now, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the hoop and cut the whatever. What is this called? I still can't figure out the word, guys. The stabilizer. It's a freaking stabilizer. That's what it is. Okay, so look at my mess on the back. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it, making sure to avoid cutting the fabric and the stitches. I don't know. You know. I've been watching too much Grey's Anatomy stitches. <laughs> okay, just avoid the fabric and the threads. And I'll cut a little bit more right here. I try to round it out as much as I can. And there we go. 